Today, we're gonna to talk about what you can do to take advantage of the great resignation. So in today's world, as we get back to work from being formally closed down, a lot of people are talking about this thing called the great resignation. And that's where a lot of articles in media and even on tech Twitter, they're talking about that up to 40% of people are gonna leave their jobs. Now in the software arena, a lot of those people are leaving those jobs because they are no longer remote. Before, over the last year, they were fully remote positions, and now companies are starting for people to come back to work. And that can be seen as full-time, five days a week, or maybe even a hybrid role. And a lot of people are saying that you should quit your job if they're making you do that. Now, the one thing that I don't like about tech Twitter and some of the media at large is saying that a company is evil if they force you to work in person. And there's a lot of good reasons a company would want you to work in person. One would be collaboration. Collaboration is definitely easier in person than it is on Zoom. Also, there may be physical limitations of things they have to do inside the office. That could be connectivity. It could be that they're working in a manufacturing environment. There could be lots of reasons why companies need you or refer that you work in person. So I want you to avoid the companies or people that say, hey, if this person's trying to get you to work in person, the company's immoral or they're evil. And the only way to work is remote. And I just don't think that's really true. Since the great resignation and concerning software development is largely centered around remote development, let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of working remote or working in person. If you take a job working in person, there are some clear advantages for you being in the office around the other people. The first thing that you do is you can build relationships with people easier in person than you can on Zoom. Zoom is typically scheduled meetings. You're typically not hanging out all the time. And it's usually just meetings where you have like a task list and things you can get through. And while that may seem productive, a lot of times, a lot of business decisions sometimes are made around what we call the water cooler or a happenstance meeting that you pass someone in the hall and they say, hey, I wanna ask you about that. What are you working on? And so you can build relationships with people that aren't necessarily in your area. That could be a leader in another area, let's say in business development or maybe in marketing. And that could give you lots of opportunities. You also may have that happenstance meeting with the owner of the business or the chief executive officer. And that can lead to conversations which can lead to more opportunities for you by just being in proximity to the people you work with. You also build, I think, very useful skills and that skill being social interaction skills, being able to communicate well in front of others, being nice is another skill that a lot of people have a hard time doing with, especially as us coders are a lot of times very introverted. This can force us to be more extroverted, which can lead to more opportunities for us. I believe the rock star or the 10X developer is really someone that is highly skilled technical but also a person that can talk to the business or the customers effectively and explain complex things in a very um, unique way that they can understand. Now that one area I'm really sensitive to is the area of senior and junior devs working together. And so here at Coder Foundry, um, when we teach people to code, typically we're placing those people into um, roles as a junior developer or their first software job. And a lot of times they come to me and they say, hey, should I work remote? I want to really work remote. And they think of remote as this kind of um, pinnacle of software development where you can work remote and you've got your own schedule and it's very flexible. And I usually tell students that I don't think that's best for juniors because a lot of times when you work remote, you're also on an island by yourself and it's hard to get help when you need it. And trust me, you're gonna need help working as a junior. And so if you're in proximity to a lot of other mid and senior level developers, it's a lot easier to get help, which can advance your career faster. So my advice is if you're trying to break in, I think in-person work is superior to remote work just because you're not on an island by yourself. Hey, if you're sitting here and you bought a lot of courses on Udemy and you haven't quite got the results that you're looking for, you're looking, how do I break in as a software developer? Well, let me tell you about learn.coderfoundry.com. At Coderfoundry, we have built a complete course from soup to nuts 
to give you everything you need to know to learn how to code, but more than that, break into the software development industry. Go to learn.coderfoundry.com and let's get you on the right track to getting that first software job. Now, obviously not everything about remote development is bad. I do believe that for a certain amount of people, especially in those senior roles where you don't need a lot of help, you don't need a lot of guidance, that you can truly just work on your own time and your own pace and be very productive for the company in a remote fashion. Now, one of the big advantages, obviously, if you're living in a city or something like that, is that the commute, you no longer have to make the commute, especially in New York or San Francisco. We know that those commutes can be kind of brutal. And in here in the tech capital of the world, Kernsville, North Carolina, you may have a 45 or 50 minute commute, depending on the area that you're trying to travel to and where you live. And that can be very time consuming when you think about two hours of your day is spent driving. So the commute is definitely a disadvantage to it. Now, I'm of the belief that sometimes the commute is great. It gives you downtime. Maybe you get that, that sweet audio book or something like that as you drive, but definitely the commute, losing the commute is an advantage and gives you a lot more time during your day. Now, another advantage to working remote only is geographical limitations. So if you have to work in person or all the companies are working in person and you live in a certain area like North Carolina, you're going to have to work within driving distance of that place. And remote opportunities allow you to work in any city, any town, and really any country in the world. And so remote does open up the opportunities that you could possibly code on. Then, whereas if you had to work in person, you've got to drive to those locations. Now, one of the other disadvantages is when you have to work in the office, typically, that means wearing business casual clothes or sometimes even like full on business. If you're working at a bank, they may still want you to wear ties, which isn't as common as it used to be, but definitely you have to wear pants and you can't wear pajamas like you can on a Zoom call. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe so we can make you aware of all of our future great content. All right, so this is a pretty hot topic in today's world of like how I'm gonna work and where I'm gonna work. And my conclusion is this, if you're more flexible, in the type of positions you'll take, whether that is a remote job, maybe a hybrid three day in office, two day off office, or a, a full time job five days a week. If you're open to any of those work scenarios, I think you're going to have more opportunities. And if truly 40% of the software developers working today are only going to take remote positions, that means that someone that's willing to work in office will be in high demand, which could lead to better benefits, better pay, but definitely more opportunities for you as a software developer. Plus, if you're a junior dev, let me reiterate, I think working in person is superior for your early on career and advancement. It'll help you learn quicker. Leave a comment below. We would love to get your feedback on what you think about the great resignation and definitely what you think about working remote only, or would you consider working in person? Um, be respectful in the comments, but we would love to interact with you down there. I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.